Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. We're still discussing the substitution strategy and in this video we'll be looking at a useful method which is the cancelling methods. And then we'll discuss one common error that lots of Olympiad participants make when solving a functional equation. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So we need to find all functions f from r to r such that f of f of x plus y equals f of x squared minus y plus 4 times f of x times y. So let's take a look at our functional equation. Here on the left hand side we have an f and inside this f we have some quantity. This quantity is f of x plus y. So we can say that this quantity is free. Well, because y doesn't have any f, so we can make this quantity any real number by simply substituting y with y minus f of x. So it will become f of y. So we can say that here on the left-hand side we have an f and inside it we have a free quantity. What about the right-hand side? Here we also have an f and also we have a free quantity for the same reason y. Here we have minus y. So here we have a, an f with free quantity and here we have an f of free quantity and here we have 4 times f of x times y which is a, a nice looking quantity in itself. So what is the idea here? Well the idea of the cancelling method is to make this f equals this f. How can we do this? Well the idea is simple. We will force this f to be the same as this f by simply making these quantities equal. So how are we going to do this? The idea is very simple. We will solve this equation f of x plus y equals x squared minus y. Let's find the value of y. Well, it's x squared minus f of x over 2. So if we substitute y with this quantity, we will get rid of this and f and this f because they will cancel each other because we will have f of x plus y equals x squared minus y. So that is the idea of the cancelling method. So let's do this. Let's substitute y with this quantity. So we will write p x as itself and y is simply x squared minus f of x over 2. And because this relation holds, we can uh, cancel this and this to get the following nice equation f4 uh, times f of x times x squared minus f of x over 2 equals 0. So that is a simple equation. Indeed, now we can say that f of x is either 0 or it is x squared. So we have proven that f of x equals either 0 or x squared. So now we can say that f of x equals 0. Let's check whether it is a solution. So let's first of all discuss the first case. 1, f of x equals 0. Well, 0 equals 0 plus 0. So it is a solution. So that is a solution. And let's discuss f of x equals x squared. Well, that's not obvious. Let's write x squared plus y squared equals x squared minus y squared plus 4x squared y. Well, actually, if you expanded the right-hand side, you will indeed get the left-hand side. So that is also a 
solution. So indeed, we can write here the solutions in this magical box are f of x equals 0 and f of x equals x squared. So we've got these two solutions and so we're done. And so we're done. No, 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 we're not done yet. Well, if you think that we're done, then you have made the same mistake that lots of Olympiad participants make when solving functional equations. So what is ex exactly this mistake? Let's take a look. Well, our, our work was completely fine and correct until we said the following, f of x equals zero or x squared. And then we said that we have two solutions, f of x equals zero or f of x equals x squared. Well, that is, that doesn't imply this. Why? Well, let's take a look at this function. f of x equals 0 when x is positive and x squared when x is negative. This function satisfies this because f of x is either 0 or x squared. But it's not 0 and it's not x squared. So does it satisfy this functional equation? Well, that's what we need to figure out. Either prove it or disprove it. And usually we disprove this mixing states. So let's prove the separation of these states. That is, we cannot have f of x equals 0 for some numbers and f of x equals x squared on other numbers. So that's what we will prove. So I like to prove this using the following. Well, we will assume that we have uh, two numbers, a and b, that satisfy f of a. f of a isn't a square. And f of b isn't 0. Since uh, we've assumed that these two states are mixed, so we will have some a such that f of a doesn't equal, or, uh, doesn't equal a square and f of b doesn't equal 0. But that means, since f of x equals either 0 or x square, that means that f of a equals 0 and f of b, since f of b doesn't equal 0, uh, it is b square. Okay, and now we will use this a and b to make some contradiction. So let's uh, search for such contradiction. So we will substitute x with a and y with b. So we now can get rid of this f of x and this f of x because f of a equals 0. So let's do this. p, a, b. Now we will have f of a, which is 0. And here we have f of y, which is f of b, which is b squared. So now on the left-hand side, we have b squared equals. Here we have f of a squared minus b. And here we have f of a, which is 0. So we simply have the right-hand side, f of a squared minus b equals b squared. OK, so where is the contradiction right here? Well, don't forget that we know the value of f. Uh, it is either 0 or it is a squared minus b squared. So we simply need to discuss two cases and find some contradiction. Well, let's discuss the first case. What about the first case? If f of a squared minus b equals 0, then we will have b squared equals 0. That is b equals 0. Well, if b equals 0, 
we have some contradiction. But where? Note that we have assumed that f of b doesn't equal 0. But f of 0 equals either 0 or 0 squared. And in both cases, we have f of 0 equals 0. So we will have f of b equals 0, which is a contradiction. So that's why we've assumed it in this form. We could have written immediately that f of b equals b square, but in this form, we have a contradiction in this equation. Okay, so f of a square minus b equals 0 is a contradiction. So let's discuss the second case. So that's the first case. Let's discuss the second case. Uh, the second case is a bit harder. B square equals A square minus B squared. So now we will have A square minus 2B times A square equals 0. So we have either a, a square equals 0 or a square minus 2 times b equals 0. So here also we have some two cases. If a equals 0, then we will have f of 0 equals 0 squared. But we have said that f of a doesn't equal a squared. So that is also a contradiction. So now we're left with one subcase, and that is b equals or s yes, b equals a square over 2 because a square minus 2 times b equals 0 but where is the contradiction in this subcase well if we think a little we can realize that b and a are only two fixed numbers so we have some infinite because we have uh, our functions, def our function defined on R on the set of all real numbers, so we have either an infinite number uh, a such that f of a doesn't equal a square, or we have an infinite number b that uh, satisfy f of b doesn't equal zero. But here we have found, we have created some relation between b and a. So we cannot have an infinite number uh, b or a because we can fix this b so we will have a finite number a and if we fixed a we will have finite number b. So that is not uh, correct and here we have a contradiction and thus we cannot have this case nor this case and the first case we have disproved it. So we have our function is not mixed, which means that our two solutions are unique. And we have either f of x equals 0 or f of x equals x squared over all real numbers x. And now we're done. So let's revise what we've learned in this video. We have learned two things. The first is the cancelling method. Uh, we use the cancelling method when we have some f, f of uh, free quantity on the left hand side and another f of uh, free quantity on the right hand side then we can force these two f's to be equal that's the first thing we've learned and the other thing that we've learned is the to be careful not to fall in the this in the trap or in the common trap which is uh, if our function has mixed cases we need to prove that they are separate so we can have either f of x equals the first case or f of x equals the second case. So that's what we've learned. So if you like the video, like, share and subscribe and see you guys in the next video.